and here's the presentation of all the rewards you can purchase with the €9.99 pass. We have an amazing crocodile leather backpack, a beautiful map of the island, and a stunning dance emote. You'll also get a winter outfit, an avatar with a crown of thorns and roses, a floral skin for your pistol, a butterfly sticker, a lovely chair, snow camouflage pants, a whiteboard for our projects, a star move with a shower of hearts, an accessory for our shotguns, a matching sofa, stylish snow boots, and a snake skin for our weapons. The night rose set is a must-have just for this skin. Additionally, there's an accessory for the backpack featuring a shark stapler, a gorgeous glass table, a spooky mask, a storage cabinet, a floral skin for the sniper, an accessory with a bullet for our weapons, and this antique lamp. You'll also receive a denim vest with a fantastic hoodie, a new color for our weapons, a beautiful cabinet with radios, another sticker, a simple yet elegant chair, another amazing dance emote, and finally, a basket filled with various maps and projects, plus this fantastic submachine gun featuring a dragon. What do you think? It's a great deal for all these items, but the great thing is that there's everything else. For those who don't know how to quickly complete their pass, there are many ways to do so. Thanks to the exploration of strongholds at the moment, you'll get an EXP boost, or simply by participating in events or discovering new areas. But that's not all. You'll also gain a lot of EXP from the main story and commissions. Right now, you can accumulate tons of EXP, or just by doing side stories or journeys. The game also offers EXP from killing various monsters, and even through Eternal Land, you'll gain a lot of EXP. Additionally, crafting in the furnaces gives you an EXP boost, as well as making other items. And finally, gathering will also reward you with EXP. In the next video, we will take a look at what the Luxurious Pass offers, showing you all the fantastic rewards you can get if you purchase the slightly more expensive pass. But for now, let's return to our walkthrough. After talking to Mary, we were heading towards our house to clear out the inventory. Unfortunately, I crashed again and lost the recording I had made in my house. However, we have the video ready for a new location and mission. So get ready, let's rush into discovering what awaits us. As usual, I stopped by these little houses to see if I could find something rare or special, but unfortunately, luck isn't on my side right now, and I haven't found anything yet. But let's not get discouraged and keep moving. I'm heading towards a new town, and the mission I have is right next to it. Let's hope we make it there safe and sound. Okay, we've arrived at the mission area. Let's try to take out most, if not all, of the monsters so we can proceed smoothly and focus on completing the mission without interruptions. Let's go. Help! Repeat broadcast, top priority signal. Please help me! Volume already at max level! Can anyone hear me? Who is talking? Oops, I died like an idiot, but it doesn't matter. We still have some syringes, so let's get back up. Talk to the little robot. Closing crisis mode. Commenting social mode. <sighs> Thank you so much for saving me. User confusion detected. Deploying friendly openness. Hello, I'm H37. It's a pleasure to meet you. Please hold while I apply for level 1 information permission. Application approved! I am from the Survivor Stronghold of Greywater, located at 30 degrees, 54, 25.2 north, 71 degrees, 05, 47.5 west. 
You are welcome to visit. Reminder of higher priority tasks. Progress of exterior collection has been seriously delayed, which could result in a major salary deduction. Returning to Greenwater Stronghold immediately! How nice of him. He's inviting us to the town we were heading to, Greywater. Well, I'm running pretty low on ammunition, or at least I want to conserve it. Let's try using the bow to see if it's as strong as the crossbow. Here you can find a page from the field guide titled, The New Evil. Up here, we find another one titled, Stairway to Hell. I actually don't mind using the bow. The way you shoot arrows is really interesting, and charging them deals quite a lot of damage. I think this is one of the most annoying monsters I've ever encountered. It has incredibly high regeneration, and if you shoot at it, it reflects the shots back at you. The only strategy is to take all its health down quickly, but wow, this is hard. Here you can find this field guide page titled, Who Comes Next? Shooting repeatedly isn't very effective. I recommend aimed and held shots. As you can see, otherwise you'll waste a lot of arrows. Sure, you can collect them from enemy bodies, but it's not really worth it. Here we have another page titled Dylan, and we also have a weapon crate containing a melee weapon amplifier. This place is really full of pages. This one is titled Reassurance. We found a weapon modifier here too. Now I'll keep exploring the place to see if I missed anything. Then we'll head to where the rift anchor and the chest are. And here we are at the Rift Anchor, and just below we have the mystical crate containing both a field guide page titled Refinery Pollution Point and a blueprint for the Dual Fury, a double-barreled shotgun. I really like this bow. I highly recommend it, or at least trying it because it's such a great feeling to shoot with a bow. By following the path I just took, you will obtain another mystical crate by completing this mini game.
You will also obtain this formula for a neon sign with a very cute danger signal. In this warehouse, we find yet another field guide page titled Drive Out. And here we have Pit Bottom. We've already reached level 27. I've leveled up quickly since the last mission. Always be cautious of these drill monsters, because they can easily knock you down, try to dodge them, or climb onto something they can't reach. Otherwise, you'll end up like me, flat on the ground. This page from the field guide was right next to the other one. Luckily, I made the whole round anyway. We found waiting for what? I had indeed seen that there was this refinery pollution before. Now we'll try to activate it. We'll have a certain amount of time to build barricades with what we find around to make it secure and not attackable by the monsters. There are a lot of them, so we need to barricade it well, and let's hope to find one of the two deviations. Let's go. Barricade is ready. Let's hope it holds. The first wave has started. Geronimo. It wasn't difficult, I still need to improve my barricade skills, but it went pretty well. I expected much better, but 10 good cans of gasoline are always useful. 
I'll take them and move on. Now let's go up this mountain because it's the only area I haven't explored. Look at that sneaky drill monster trying to sneak up and kill me, but not this time, man. Here we find career crisis. Okay, I've fully explored the area before our town. Now I would say we're ready to set off. it been since you got any sleep? One day? Two? <sighs> I don't remember. My brain feels like it's made out of mud. Gonna try a nap later. Uh, tied up with ropes and locked in a cell? Uh, only the Holt boy could come up with a solution like that. It's better than the alternative. I'm telling ya. I can't take this much longer. What kind of deviation have you come across this time? I have quite a frightening case for you, actually. Have you heard of a shop called Riverside Souvenirs to the north of here? There have been a series of disappearances there recently. No one knows exactly why so many people have disappeared in the vicinity of this old shop. But my guess would be that there's a powerful deviation involved. All right, do you have any more information? Yes, but let me remind you, this is quite serious. According to some survivors who made it to Greywater, there was an inexplicably large number of stuffed alpacas at Riverside Souvenirs. I know that sounds ridiculous, but my intuition is telling me that these stuffed alpacas must be the result of a deviation. When you go investigate, don't be fooled by how silly they may look. All I can do is wish you luck. You're quite a valuable partner. I'd hate to lose you in some strange alpaca realm. Okay, more info on the deviations that we'll be hunting down, but first, who was speaking? I really didn't catch that. Let's take a look at the emails that always give me some nice little things that I forget to collect. Talk to Hot Dog. Hey! Nice work saving H-37. I gotta say, it's been a long time since anyone's seen a mayfly in these parts, but thank God you're here. Things are getting out of hand around this place. What's the problem? Well, you may have noticed we aren't doing so great at the moment. There's something here. It keeps creeping into our nightmares. Usually it's a spider, but it can take the form of anything. I don't know what it wants, but it's been going on for two months nonstop. No one's afraid to even close their eyes. Now people have begun to go missing. I have no idea if they're even still alive. Sound like you could use some help. We sure could. Solve this problem for us, and I'll make sure we make it worth your while. I suggest you start by looking into the old hospital near here. Everyone dreams of that place when they're asleep. I'm not sure why, but I doubt it's a coincidence.
You look tired. Repairs, what happened? Yes, where did this happen? There you are again. Why am I not surprised to see you all the way out here? Got tired of Meyer's Market, huh? In my business, you gotta keep looking for new customers and inventory. <laughs> Fat lot of good that's done me here, though. The oil workers aren't buying much, and all these industrial sites aren't exactly full of artifacts. That said, there is one place, but it's a bit dangerous. And you're hoping a certain mayfly might help you? You catch on quick. East Blackfelt Junction is an old transit hub not too far from here. After Starfall, it became a thriving survivor settlement. That is, until Rosetta reemerged from wherever they were hiding and took it over. There's also this bit of history. What happened after the occupation? That's the thing. Nobody knows. Some people say a deviation killed everyone there. Others say Rosetta took the survivors away. Whatever happened, the only ones left now are Gudrun's. Still, I figure there must be some interesting artifacts left behind. And you've got just the skill set to go check for me. Ask Hot Dog about Talon. I've heard of him. You were here waiting for me? I'm glad you found me. I discovered something quite interesting. You're going to want to see it for yourself. What's that? There's a bunker nearby with an unusual lock on it. One that requires a cradle to open. It must have belonged to the Mayflies. We should take a look. Where is it? I'll mark it on your map. Then go ahead and scout the area. I'll meet you there. Okay, I'd say today's video can end here. I'll see you tomorrow for the video to explore the luxurious season pass and complete some missions. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like or comment, and remember to hit the bell icon for notifications on my videos.